Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. On this episode, we'll cover Google Play, Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet, multi-device, Jetpack Compose, Google Developer Expert, Location, and more. Continuing our I.O. coverage, we released a short video and blog detailing the top three things to know from Google Play at Google I.O. 2023. New custom store listing features. We made three big updates to custom store listings, giving you ways to deliver a personalized content to a wider audience. Generative AI and machine learning for store listings. Draft better content with less effort with our new experimental integrated AI helper. Price experiments. We launched price experiments for in-app products, which allow you to A-B test price points to better reach both new and existing buyers. Check out the blog, video, and the Google Play at Google I.O. 2023 playlist to learn more. The new Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet are here. We have new content that you should check out in order to get your application ready for large and foldable screens. Developer guide to Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet for specific recommendations on how to get ready for these new Pixel devices. Detecting device type, how to know if a device is a foldable or a tablet. The top three things to know in multi-device from Google I.O., our roundup of the world of large screens, Wear OS, and TV from Google I.O. Also, hear how Peloton increased its multi-device support and saw an uptick in user engagement. We had a bunch of exciting new features and behavior changes related to Compose show up in Android Jetpack. First of all, Compose UI 1.6 Alpha 1 and Compose Material 1.6 Alpha 1 now have include font padding switched to false by default. The default line height style has also been changed to trim none and alignment center. These changes might impact your screenshot tests. You can read an in-depth explanation on include font padding in the blog post, Fixing Font Padding in Compose Text by Alejandra. Start testing your app switching to include font padding false today. Where Compose 1.3 Alpha 1 release is also changing the default text style to turn off font padding to be consistent across the Android platform. Compose UI and Compose Animation 1.6 Alpha 1 include support for Look Ahead in Lazy List. This allows Lazy List in the Look Ahead Pass to bypass any animation and to calculate the Look Ahead size and position for all children. Finally, Compose Foundation version 1.6 Alpha 1 introduced a new anchored draggable API in Foundation. This API replaces the Materials Swipeable API. You can see all of Android X release notes here. Since launching the Google Developer Expert Spotlight series in early June, we released many more interviews with Android GDEs from around the world, including interviews with Ahmed, a software engineer from the Netherlands, Zara, an Android developer from Australia, Anis, Vice President of Engineering from the USA, and Haroon, a software engineer from Kenya. Check out the episode 198 of the Android Developer Backstage podcast on location, location, location. Since the original episode on location nearly nine years ago, a lot has happened in the location support for Android. In this episode, Wyatt Riley and Roy Want answer all of Tor's questions on how it works, cover recent developments like indoor location and elevation, and go over tips for using location in your app. You can check out the episode in video or podcast form, and you can watch this short clip on how to avoid a common location developer mistake. That's it for this week with Google Play, Pixel Fold and Pixel Tablet, multi-device support, Jetpack Compose, Google Developer Expert, location, and more. Check back soon for the next update from the Android developer universe.